In this tutorial, I will show you all different stop-loss options that Binance offers. We will learn how to add a take profit and stop loss before opening a trade. We will learn how to add a take profit and stop loss to existing trades, how you can add partial and multiple take profits and stop losses, and how you can add a trailing stop loss. And lastly, of course, how you can add it, make changes and cancel your take profit and stop loss orders. In order to add a take profit and stop loss immediately when entering a trade, you have to configure it beforehand. In the open tab on the right hand side, we click on market order. First of all, configure the position size. In this case, I just go all in with 1400 USDT. Then we can add a TP slash SL by ticking this box. You can see TP SL right here, click on this box. And now you can add a take profit and stop loss. In this case, I want to go long with a take profit at 110,000. Additionally, I will add a stop loss for this long at 95,000. Then I click on open long. And now you can see we have a take profit and stop loss immediately added. In the open orders tab, you can click on this. You will see you have a take profit and stop loss. When you zoom out to a higher time frame, you can also see it in the chart. We have a take profit at 110,000 and a stop loss at 95,000. If you already have an existing position open and you didn't add a take profit and stop loss beforehand, you can also add it to this right now. On the right hand side, in the position overview, you can see TP slash SL for position. Here we can configure a full TP SL for one specific price. So we can add one take profit price, for example, $105,000, and then one stop loss price, for example, $99,000. You can also see the PL. For example, you want to take profit at $50 profits. You can also change this to percentage ROI. So in case we make 50% profits, we will also add exit this trade. So there are different options. You can either configure it by price, by ROI, or by PL. So in this case, let's use ROI 50%, confirm this. And now you can see we have added a take profit and stop loss to our existing trade. Please note that this is a full take profit and a full stop loss. So if the stop loss is hit, we will fully close the position. Alternatively, if the take profit is hit, we will fully close the position. If you want to add multiple take profits and stop losses, you can use the TP slash SL feature on the very right side where it says add. If you can't see this feature, click on these three dots right here and make sure that you have the TP slash SL function turned on. Because when you untick this, you can see it's gone. So make sure it shows right there. And now we can click on add. And now, first of all, we can configure a take profit. First of all, we configure the price, $110,000. And then we can configure the amount by sliding this or putting in the exact number. In this case, I want to take 50% of profits when $110,000 is reached. And now before confirming, you can add split targets. So on the left side, click on add split target. And now you configure the second take profit and stop loss. In this case, let's add a second take profit at 112,000. Now we again take 25% out, right? Remember, we already have 50% out, so now the maximum um, is 50% because Binance consider considers the whole position. So now 50% is re remaining in this. So if we now add a second take profit and maybe also a third one, let's slide this to um, 25% here. So we will now close half of the half position add split again and now we can add the third take profit at the very end add for example $115,000 confirm this and now you can see we have added three take profits we can now do the same for our stop loss so again click on the plus sign and now instead of the take profit section click on the stop loss section and now you can see we can add a stop loss for $99,000 and now you can also choose the full amount if you want to get fully out there, but maybe you only want to leave 50%. Then again, click on add split target, another price, this one lower, 95,000. Then slide this all to the right, confirm this. And now you can see we have two stop losses and three take profits. If you want to add a trailing stop loss to your position, go to the closing tab on the right side. So make sure it's not on open, make sure it's on close. And then you can select trailing stop right here with this drop down so you can see limit order market order and then a drop down here make sure you select trailing stop first of all we have the callback right that is the percentage that follows the price for our stop loss so if price in this case moves up one percent 
our stop loss will be still 1% behind the price. If price moves up 10%, our stop loss will follow this price and then still be 1% below the current price. Next, we can add an activation price. For example, maybe you only want to activate this when we reach $101,000. So you can add this here. Alternatively, if you want it to be added immediately, you can leave this blank so you don't fill anything in here. And then Binance will use the current price as the activation price. But please note that we first have to quickly go above this to activate it. If we now go lower immediately, this trailing stop is not activated. So just be aware of that. Then we can select the size. For example, maybe you want to only close 50%, but usually I use 100% with these stop losses. In this case, we are in a long position, so we must choose the close long option. If you are in a short position and you have a trailing stop for your short, obviously use the close short option. Now I click on close long, and now you can see our trailing stop activation price is just above us because I didn't add anything here. But now we have to quickly go above this, right? Otherwise, if we no go lower, this will not be activated. But that's how you add a trailing stop loss. And as I said, you can uh, do this for longs and shorting. Just make sure you're on the closing tab and then configure this here. If you want to make changes and edit your take profit and stop loss, you can do this directly in the chart by dragging and dropping. Left click this and then drag it to wherever you want to have it. In this case, I drag it down. Now read this and confirm this. You can also take this if you don't want to see this again. And now we have successfully edited our take profit. You, we can also do the same with the stop loss here. Drag this down. And now you can see it's edited here as well. If you can't see this in the chart, click on this settings icon here and make sure you tick open orders because when it's not ticked, you can't see them. Alternatively, if you want to add a specific price, you can go back to your TP slash SL for the position and then click on this pencil on the right hand side. And now you can add a specific price, for example, $104,000 and $97,500. So this gives you a bit more accuracy. Confirm this. And now you can see the take profit and stop loss is successfully edited. If you want to fully cancel your take profit and stop loss orders, you can click on the X directly in the chart for canceling this. Again, if you can't see your orders in the chart, click on the settings icon above the chart. Make sure you activate open orders. Alternatively, you can go to the open orders tab next to positions. Next, you can also hide other symbols in case you have many different positions on different assets. This will make it easier to find the orders for the current asset, in this case, Bitcoin. Now on the right hand side, you can see this trash bin. When you click on this, you cancel the order. And that's how you add a take profit and stop loss on Binance. If you want to get started with trading on Binance, I recommend you click the first link in the video description. With that link, you will activate a 10% trading fee discount, which will save you a lot of money if you want to trade on Binance. If you're looking for a great Binance alternative, you can check out Bluefin. With the link below this video, you will also get a 10% cashback on Bluefin and a $100,000 bonus. Alternatively, you can check out Bitunex. They also offer a $5,500 bonus and a 10% commission on trading fees. You find all of the links below this video. Additionally, you will find more tutorials and guides on our YouTube channel or our official website.